Welcome to Ace My Exams Learning. Let us get started with today's learning. Question. Explain how farming land can be lost due to climate change. Climate change affects the environment in several ways that directly lead to the loss of farming land as explained below. Firstly, farming land can be lost due to flooding caused by climate change. When heavy and prolonged rainfall leads to floods, arable land that is rich in essential agricultural nutrients is washed away. This process, known as soil erosion, strips away the top layer of soil that crops rely on for growth. As a result, the land becomes less fertile and unsuitable for effective farming, which eventually contributes to reduced food production and food scarcity in markets. Secondly, the absence of rain, another effect of climate change, leads to extremely dry land conditions that make farming impossible. When there is no rainfall over long periods, the land dries out and cannot support the growth of crops. This dryness affects planting and harvesting cycles, causing a decline in crop yields and leading to lower food availability. Over time, the continuous lack of moisture transforms fertile farmland into barren land. Thirdly, prolonged droughts associated with climate change lower the groundwater levels. In many farming areas, especially those with limited surface water, farmers depend on groundwater access through boreholes for irrigation. However, when droughts persist, these underground water sources are depleted. Without adequate groundwater, irrigation becomes difficult or impossible, and the land cannot sustain farming activities, resulting in the abandonment of agricultural land. Lastly, climate change leads to soil salinization, where the soil becomes too dry and salty for farming. High evaporation rates and minimal rainfall prevent salts in the soil from being washed away. As salts accumulate, the soil becomes toxic to most crops, making it extremely difficult to produce food. This condition turns previously productive land into infertile ground, contributing to long-term loss of farming land and negatively affecting both food security and farmers' livelihoods. Question. Illustrate how these conditions, caused by climate change, may affect people's way of living. Climate change has a direct impact on people's daily lives in the following ways. When less food is produced due to climate-related events such as droughts or floods, food prices tend to rise sharply. As agricultural output decreases, the supply of basic food items like maize, wheat, and vegetables becomes limited. This leads to increased costs in the market, and people are forced to spend more money on daily essentials. Low-income families, who already live with limited resources, may have to cut down on the quantity or quality of their meals, leading to hunger and poor nutrition. Another impact is seen when the quality of the plowing land is affected. Climate change causes soil erosion, salinization, and loss of fertility, making once productive land unsuitable for farming. As a result, households that used to grow their own food are now forced to buy everything they need. This shift increases their dependence on the market and reduces food independence, straining their finances even further. In cases where people continue to plow and plant crops on damaged or degraded land, the harvests are often poor. These failed yields lead to significant waste of seeds, water, and labor. Farmers invest in land preparation and planting, only to find that the crops fail to grow or are not suitable for sale or consumption. This results in financial loss and discouragement, which can push some people to abandon farming altogether. Furthermore, turbulent weather patterns caused by climate change can severely damage infrastructure such as roads, irrigation systems, bridges, and electricity lines. When infrastructure is compromised, daily life is disrupted, transporting goods becomes difficult, access to health and education services is limited, and economic activities slow down. Repairing this damage is extremely costly, often diverting resources from other essential services. Lastly, too much rain, especially in the form of heavy storms, 
leads to flooding that destroys homes, farmlands, and businesses. These floods cause loss of life and property, displacing families and leaving them without shelter or income. Recovery from such disasters takes time and requires support from government and aid organizations. During this period, people often live in temporary shelters, lose their jobs, and struggle to meet basic needs. Question. Explain in detail practical strategies which the citizens can contribute to reduce climate change. Citizens can play an active role in reducing climate change by adopting the following simple, practical strategies in their daily lives. 1. Practice efficient driving habits. Driving habits directly affect the amount of fuel a car uses. Citizens can reduce their vehicle's fuel consumption and thereby lower carbon emissions by driving efficiently. This includes accelerating gently, avoiding sudden braking, and using cruise control on highways to maintain a steady speed. Regularly servicing a car ensures the engine runs efficiently, tires are properly aligned, and emissions are kept in check. Efficient driving reduces fuel use and air pollution. 2. Maintain proper tire pressure. Many people overlook the importance of tire maintenance, but underinflated tires reduce fuel efficiency. When tires have low pressure, the car needs to use more energy to move, which burns more fuel and increases emissions. By checking tire pressure regularly and keeping it at recommended levels, citizens can drive more efficiently and help reduce their environmental impact. 3. Shift towards a plant-based diet. The production of meat, especially beef and lamb, releases large amounts of greenhouse gases and requires more land and water than plant-based foods. Citizens can reduce their personal carbon footprint by replacing a few meat-heavy meals each week with vegetarian or vegan options. This small dietary change can significantly lower methane emissions and reduce deforestation caused by livestock farming. 4. Reduce food waste through better shopping habits. Food waste is a major contributor to climate change because it leads to unnecessary production, transportation, and disposal of food. Citizens can reduce this by regularly checking their fridges before shopping and sticking to a prepared grocery list. This avoids overbuying and helps ensure that all purchased food is used before it spoils. Buying only what is needed reduces waste and the energy used in food production. 5. Be cautious about buying in bulk. While buying in bulk may seem economical, it often leads to food waste if the items expire before they can be used. Citizens should only buy in bulk when they are certain they can use all the items before they spoil. This avoids unnecessary waste, which would otherwise contribute to landfill emissions and resource loss. 6. Plan meals and use leftovers wisely. Planning meals helps people cook only what they need, reducing food waste. By portioning meals and adjusting recipes to suit household needs, citizens avoid throwing away extra food. Leftovers should be reused creatively in new meals instead of being discarded. This maximizes food usage and minimizes waste. 7. Freeze food for longer storage. When citizens notice they may not use certain foods in time, freezing them extends their shelf life and prevents waste. Freezing helps store perishable items like bread, vegetables, and cooked meals safely, so they can be used later without needing to repurchase them. 8. Practice sustainable dining habits. When eating out, if the food portions are too large, citizens should take leftovers home rather than letting them go to waste. At home, it is better to use reusable and environmentally friendly plates, cups, and utensils rather than disposable ones. This helps reduce plastic pollution and landfill waste. 9. Conserve energy at home. One of the most effective ways to fight climate change is reducing household energy consumption. Citizens can keep their home temperatures stable by turning down heating, closing blinds to retain heat, 
and using programmable thermostats to optimize energy use. These actions reduce the burning of fossil fuels for electricity and heating. 10. Switch off and unplug unused appliances. Lights, TVs, chargers, and kitchen appliances continue to draw energy when left plugged in, even if they are not in use. By turning off and unplugging devices, households can lower their energy usage. This not only helps reduce electricity bills, but also cuts down the demand for power plants that release harmful emissions. 11. Choose energy-efficient technology. When watching movies or shows, citizens should stream through energy-efficient smart TVs rather than game consoles, which use much more electricity. Similarly, using laptops instead of desktops for everyday tasks is more efficient, as laptops consume far less power and reduce overall energy use. 12. Use LED lighting. Replacing traditional bulbs with LED lights is a simple yet powerful step. LEDs use up to 85% less electricity and last much longer than conventional lights. This reduces both energy consumption and the frequency of replacements, saving resources and reducing carbon emissions. To access more learning and exam preparation materials, go to www.acemyexams.coza. This link is also in the video description below. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, and be the first to know when we upload new videos.